content of vaccines and therapeutic proteins are made in yeast. But Boo is not a tree. Hello, I am in Kang. Welcome to Kang Knows a Home of Notch. All living things on Earth can deliberately divide to plants and animals. Plants surround us, can grow on land or in water, or even on other plants as well. Every time when I really want to relax my eyes or just want to boost my mood, I often go to my garden to take care of some of my favorite plants. Plants make a world a beautiful and refreshing place, so let's discover it today. Number one, plants are smart and always tries to evolve. Let me share with you the story of the sunflower, the yellow flower that my aunt really likes. Every day, a young sunflower turns with the sun as it can go better as it can receive six or more hours of direct sunlight a day. But unlike human beings, sunflowers don't have muscles. So how are they turning in the first place? And how can they follow the sun? Well, sunflowers have their own 24-hour circadian rhythm. The stems of young sunflowers grow more during the night, but only on the west side, which allows the sunflower to bend eastward. During the day, the sunflower's bright side grows, so it results in this moving motion to catch up with the sun. Pretty cool, right? Number 2. Plants are the longest living organisms. For plants, life and stretch out many times that of animals. Humans can live around 100 years, and some animals even 200 or more, but some plants can live for a thousand years. Wow! Certain types of trees have incredible longevity for several capabilities, such as the ability to heal, last, or damage organs. A sector vascular system that means Portions of portions, damaged portion of tree will still heal, and if the whole tree is still okay. Plants are indeed fascinating organisms. Be friends with them, and they will be your friends for the rest of your life. Number three, fifty percent of vaccines and therapeutic proteins are made in yeast. Do you know that hepatitis B vaccines are made using baker's yeast? Yes, it was produced in recombinant yeast cell culture, and the purified antigen and alien formulation stimulated production of antibody in mice, prevent monkeys, and chimpanzees. <laughs> Too much technical words. Another interesting fact related to yeast is that scientists are also studying if they can produce COVID yeast-based vaccine to open the chances of access to vaccines which is limited in low and middle income countries. Number 4. Plant, land, and water. The true friendship. Plants help water and land to improve its quality. As rain falls into the earth, it is slowed down and filtered by trees, helping it soak into the soil. Trees then serve as natural sponges, collecting and filtering green water and releasing it slowly into streams and rivers. They also prevent soil from eroding into our waterways, reduce the water runoff, and lessen flood damage. Water and land, in return, helps trees grow. Trees cannot grow if there is no water or land in this area. True friendship. Number 5. Do you know how to know how old a tree is? If you ever see a tree stump, you have probably noticed that on the top of the stump has a series of rings. It looks kind of like a bullseye. You can date a tree by studying its rings. One light ring plus one dark ring equals one year of the tree's growth. Studying about tree rings is so, so interesting. A tree's rings doesn't only reveal the tree's age when it's cut down, 
It can also indicate the climate and occurrences of natural events, such as volcanic eruption or a drought or a tsunami in that years. The rings, which are more thick and more good colored, probably means that that year there's a lot of good resources in the soil and a lot of good nutrients. Maybe rain is rainy in that year, so there was a lot of water. And tiny and small rings probably mean that there's something bad happened, like some kind of volcanic eruption or a drought. Fascinating. Number six. Why the trees? Color in autumn. Do you love the autumn leaf color? Have you ever wished to travel to some places just to see autumn leaves? That's kind of spring. It's so beautiful, right? But do you know why leaf changes its color? Why does that change its color in spring? But autumn leaves are green due to the presence of a green color pigment called chlorophyll. Word actually is crow rofo. When plants prepare for winter, because there's less chlorophyll in the leaves, the leaf turns orange, brown, or red. Number seven. Bamboo is not a tree. In Vietnam and all over the world, bamboo is often called a tree due to its tree-like appearances. But scientifically speaking, bamboo belongs to the family soybeans, the family of the perennial evergreen grass family, Weissae or Ramenae. Of all grasses, bamboo is the largest and maybe the fastest growing woody plant in the world. It can grow 35 inches in a single day. Classifying bamboo as a tree is a very interesting topic. Kind of like the pronunciation of Jeff. Being called a tree will help bamboos to enjoy fair protection from the government. So many bamboo lovers want to reclassify bamboo as a tree. Number 8. Not all flowers smell good. Nothing is absolute, and the world of flowers is the same. One of the world's largest Rings and smelliest and also strangest not looking flower is the Titan Arum or the corpse flower. It's called the corpse flower because it smells like a rotting dead body, like some other flowers to attract flies. The preferred pollinator. Well, sometimes you need to make little sacrifices. This November, thousands of people came to San Diego to look and smell at a flower. Well, and I bet those who smell it really regretted it. Amazing show! King is so curious about this flower too. Number 9. Touch me not plant. Scientists call the touch me not genes a species of the genus Mimosa. In Greek, Mimosa means sensitive plants. It includes about 430 species of herbs and shrubs. We know Mimosa pudica from many common names like Mimosa, Frisian, Shy, or Sensitive Flower. In the last, the name Mimosa is very famous and we even have a role for it. Mimosa is the most sensitive plant ever. Its tiny green leaves will close immediately, even with a tiny touch. But why? When we touch leaves, a signal travels up each leaf. The water access the cells, making the leaf come to its close position. After that, it starts gaining water from the jacket tissues and open. This whole process happens in a few seconds actually, and was meant to be a defense mechanism. In Italia, mimosa represents the feminine world since its flower looks very, very delicate, but it actually is very strong and can grow in very hostile lands. Powerful flowers. Number 10. Do we have any true everlasting flower? In the lab, we can easily see flowers called everlasting flower. However, there is no actual everlasting flower, and we just buy the flowers to make it last almost forever. Everlasting flowers have been the specific epithet of Cerodrysum brexatum. 
very common in here and it is a very colorful and beautiful species. The flower may only live for several days, but by making it dry, it can last for many years. To dry it, you may just pick it when it is newly and then hang it upside down until it is ready to use. If you want to reserve the flowers for a longer time, please do not wear them, place them in new water, or touch them. That's simple, right? Here is the end of today's flash diary. What's the next surprise? Look forward to it. See you in the next episode. Okay, next. Um, of night. Bye.